We often hear of data quality and data governance just belonging together, that one cannot have good data quality without data governance. And we also hear that by doing data governance, we can achieve data quality. How so? What does that mean? So what is the relationship between data governance and data quality? Or are they the same thing? Let's find out. Hi everyone, my name is George Ferrican. This is my famous cat, Rasta. I am a data governance practitioner. Again, he's just a cat. Through these videos, I'm aiming to make your life easier and data management more approachable. So please subscribe if you want to keep learning and supporting my channel. In this video, we'll talk about data governance and data quality and how they are similar, but different. Some people confuse them with each other, but they're not the same thing. Please stay until the end, as I'll specifically show you those overlaps between data governance and data quality. Let's look at data quality first. So let's step in front of the computer and take a look at data quality or data quality management to be exact. So data quality management focuses on ensuring that data adheres to our data quality dimensions. In other words, that our data is complete, valid, accurate, timely, consistent, and so on. I mean, data quality has a few dimensions, and I'll cover that in a separate video, I promise. There is a few more than that. But again, to clarify, data quality management ensures that our data adheres to these dimensions. It ensures that our data is complete, our data is valid, our data is accurate, our data is timely, our data is consistent, so forth and so on. Or, as Dr. Peter Aiken puts it, data quality ensures our data is fit for purpose. Let's put it this other way too. Data quality management ensures that we have data of good quality. Data that it's clean. All right. Let's expand our understanding of data quality management and look at it from the point of view of DEMA International. So data quality is one of the 11 data management domains identified by the Data Management Association International, or DEMA for short, including one in the middle, which I'm going to reveal to you in a second, or in a minute or so. Now, you might remember this wheel of you know data management knowledge areas from one of my previous videos that I've done, where I've just explained the difference between data management and data governance. If you haven't watched it, please do. I highly recommend it. So again, to recap, data quality is one of the 11 data management knowledge areas. We can see it here. And according to DEMA, data quality management consists in the planning, implementation, and control of the activities that apply quality management techniques to data in order to ensure it is fit for consumption and meets the needs of data consumers. Okay. I think we, we got the gist from the previous definitions, but this is a lengthier, more comprehensive one. So I want you to have it here as a reference. Now, what else are we spotting here on the list? Well, we see data governance. Okay, let's go back to that DEMA wheel. Remember I said there's another data management domain that it's in the middle. I mean, you might have guessed it by now what, what it is. But let's let's keep in mind this first. Data quality that we see highlighted there. Data quality you know, has almost a role in most of the other data management domains. And the other way around, if you think about it, right? So metadata management, well, we need to have good data quality and we need to have good metadata to ensure data quality. Data security as well, business intelligence, data architecture, you know, it can go around the circle there. But the point is, is that we need an enabler, a connector to ensure all these data management practices come together. And that connector is data governance. Okay, that's that middle domain that I mentioned that will reveal. You would have guessed it, you might have guessed already <laughs> that it is data governance. So data governance, according to DEMA, represents the exercise of authority, control, and shared decision making. So planning, monitoring, and enforcement over the management of data assets. To me though, maybe this is simpler, it's a discipline which provides the necessary policies, processes, standards, roles, and responsibilities needed to ensure that data is managed as an asset. Okay, by now you might say, 
okay, George, I kind of get it. Okay, I see them side by side here, you know. But let me tell you something. We have data quality without any data governance. Look at that. And we have good data quality. Okay, so if this is you, if you just said that in your head, if that's the case, I think there's two possible realities. The first one is that, yeah, you know, the, the company that you're mentioning probably doesn't have data governance. But that means that most likely the data quality implementation, the data quality program is not enterprise-wide. And you might say, no, no, it is enterprise-wide. Okay. Um, if you say it is, it's probably because it's mainly focused around an enterprise system, such as an ERP or a CRM. So in, in that sense, really, it's a localized implementation. So it's localized to one system or a couple of systems. And that's an issue, especially in larger organizations, because there might be data quality rules in place that are created only with the input of the stakeholders of this enterprise system. But then this could affect those that are not stakeholders or users of that system. Okay, if it's not localized to a system, then it's probably localized to a particular department or departments. So we only see data quality or good data quality best practices being implemented within one department or maybe a couple of departments or a group of departments. And that can create other issues, which I won't go into details right now. Maybe we'll just have a video on data quality alone. But I'll just say that this could lead to a lack of, you know, common standards, no clear roles and responsibilities, and, and so on. And lastly, data quality without data governance is usually reactive. It's quite reactive. Okay. Now you might say, sure, George, sure. But actually, we do have a data quality policy. We do have data standards in place. We have data quality metrics and KPIs. We have clear roles and responsibilities, defined processes and procedures, and so forth and so on. Okay, that's, that's good. Then probably you have what I like to call undercover data governance. So it's because you probably have a lot of the pieces of data governance, but without really knowing in a way that is actually data governance or without that defined data governance organizational framework, you know, without formalized data governance, really. But you're on the road there. You know, it could be a good start to, to build on that and enhance and invest in data governance going forward. Data governance and data quality. We often see them together and they often get confused with one another. Especially data governance gets equated with data quality. They're not the same thing. Though there is an overlap, so let's take a look at that. So data governance and data quality exist in this symbiotic relationship. They are two sides of the same coin. I know it's a cliche, but it's true. You can have good data quality without data governance. And a data governance implementation must be really ineffective to not address data quality. It's, it's hard if you have data governance in place not to have a positive effect on the quality of the data. But again, there's a lot of overlap between these two, as we can see here. You know, data governance describes who needs to do what, to what data, under what conditions, and what processes, procedures, tools, and overall best practices to use. So a lot will beneficially impact data quality, but not only data quality. Yeah, the standards, the metrics, roles and responsibilities, data rules, and so on will benefit data quality. Hence that overlap. But again, not just data quality. There's a direct benefit to master data management, data accessibility, data integration, metadata management, business intelligence, data warehousing, even data security, and so forth and so on. Yes, many times data quality is one of the drivers of data governance. And that's kind of the initial focus of a data governance program many times. Hence, maybe the confusion between the two. But again, they're not the same thing. There's an overlap, but they're not the same thing. I'll leave you with this quote here from Dr. David Marco, who said that data governance can be seen as an evolution of data quality. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it, 
And don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons as you really help me out. Thank you.